In the last lesson, we introduced the three properties of multiplication um, of exponents, the multiplication properties of exponents. And in this lesson, we're going to just go over some examples. So for this first property, the product of powers property, we're going to look at, let's start with 5 to the third power times 5 to the sixth power. And what the property told us to do was add the exponents. So what we what we can do is write 5 to the third power plus 6. We just need to add the exponents, and we get 5, well, 3 plus 6 is 9, so 5 to the ninth power. And, and that'll be our answer, 5 to the ninth power. Another example could be 3 times 3 to the fifth power. Well, this one might throw you for a loop at first, but if you remember any number, you can in, in, imagine a, an invisible 1 as the exponent. So this first one has a 1 up there. You just can't see it. So we have 3 to the first power times 3 to the fifth power. And when we add the exponents, we say 3 to the first power plus 6 or plus 5. And that's going to equal 3 to the sixth power. And that'll be our answer for that one. OK, another example. Let's use some variables. Let's say x squared times x cubed times x to the fourth. Well, that's just going to equal x to the 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is, well, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So it'll be x to the ninth power. And that'll be your answer for that one, x to the ninth power. And like in the last video, you can expand these if you want. You can, um, you can write the x squared as x times x, and then x cubed as x times x times x, and then the x to the fourth as x times x times x times x, and add those up, and you'll get the same answer. But these properties help us help us to save some time and some paper if you're writing all of this down. So one more example of this. Let's say you have negative 2, negative 2, times negative 2 to the fourth power. Well, what's that one going to be? Well, remember, if you have just just a number with no exponent, you can imagine a 1 there. So we have negative 2 to the 1 plus 4, which is going to equal negative 2 to the fifth power. And you can write that with parentheses just to make sure that it's clear that it's negative 2 to the fifth power. And that would be your answer for that one. Okay, the next property, power of a power property. And remember this one, you're dealing with you're dealing with a number, let's say three, that already has an exponent, and you want to raise the whole thing to an exponent. So let's take a look at what happens when you have three to the fifth power and you raise that whole thing to to the second power. Well, the power of a power property told us that all we had to do was multiply the exponents. So when you see a situation like this, all you have to do is multiply the exponents to get our answer. So we have 3 to the fifth power times 2, which is going to equal 3 to the, well, 5 times 2 is 10. So 3 to the 10th power. And again, if we, if we wanted to expand this, we would have 3 to the 5th power. And the square tells us to, to multiply everything in the parentheses times itself. So you have two of them. So 3 to the 5th power times 3 to the 5th power. And then if you were to expand the 3 to the 5th powers, you would have 3 times 3 times 3. And you would do that five times. And then you'd have 3 times 3, times 3, times 3, times 3, another 5 times. And when you add them all up, oh, here, I'll just write in the other 2 here. 
so you have three to the fifth power here, and then three to the fifth power over here. And when you add them all up, you'll see that you have 10 threes, so it would be three to the 10th power. So again, what, what these pro properties help you to do is find, find a shortcut and show you that three to the fifth power squared, all you have to do is multiply the exponents. So you get three to the fifth power times two equals three to the 10th three to the tenth power. Let's see another example of that. Let's see what happens when you have y squared raised to the fourth power. And again, all we need to do is multiply the exponents when you see something like this. So you have y squared times four, which is gonna be y, well two times four is eight, so y to the eighth power. And one more. What happens what happens when when you have something different inside the parentheses, like d plus one? And that's raised that's squared. And then then let's say you have something else, two brackets, and that whole thing's raised to the fifth power. Well that might look confusing at first, and let me draw a line to separate it from the previous problem. But think of, think of d plus 1 as just one term. Think of that as one term, and it's squared. And that term squared is raised to the fifth power. So all you really have to do is write d plus 1, well, squared times 5, right? Because we square that term, and then we, we raise the whole thing to the fifth power. So we're going to multiply this whole, this thing by itself five times. And remember the shortcut, all we have to do is multiply the exponents. So we get d plus one, and then two times five is 10. So it would be raised to the 10th power. And that would be your answer. You would have d plus one, in parentheses, raised to the 10th power. And that's all you have to do for those. Now this last property, we can do a couple examples. The power of a product property. The power of a product property. And, and what that says is if you have a product and you raise it to a power, all you need to do is find the power of each factor and then multiply. So for 6 times 5 squared, that's the same thing as saying 6 squared times 5 squared. 6 squared times 5 squared. And then since, since they're both numbers, we can actually find what this is going to be. 6 squared is 36, and 5 squared is 25. And when we multiply 36 times 25, well, I'm not going to show it here, but, but when you multiply 30, 36 times 25, you get 900. And that would be your answer. And that's one way to do it. Um, another way, since we have numbers here, we could, we could simply multiply the 6 and the 5 and get 30 and then square it, which is simply 30 times 30, which is also 900. You'll get the same answer if you do it that way. But for this lesson, we want to explore the property power of a product property. And this is one way we can do it. We can we can simply distribute the square into each of those each of those terms that are that are being multiplied. Okay, one more example of that, and I'll change the color just to make it clear. If we have if we have negative two w and that is squared. What we have here is, is a power of a product situation. You have a negative 2 times a w, and the whole thing is squared. So negative 2 is going to be squared. We're going to distribute the exponent. So negative 2 will be squared, and then we're going to multiply it by w squared. w squared. And our answer will be, well, negative 2 squared, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. 
and then we leave the w squared and that'll be our answer okay so i i hope these examples um have helped and in the future you'll you'll be able to mix and match the different properties sometimes you'll have situations where you use one or more of these properties um, to solve a problem. But these are a, a good thing to practice and a good thing to keep in mind. It's going to save you a lot of time and effort when, when you come um, to work with, with exponents.